the profile of the tiles and the way how they slide together. They're designed to connect together like this. And they are screwed by three screws, one there, one there, and one at the ends. You can see the way how they connect together. Always it cannot get up underneath, up there and across, it's impossible. The tiles overlap like so. Slide across, screw into there, and screw into there. can be screwed to that joint if you're going to stagger the tiles. Or you can lay the tiles in line like that. Screw it through the batten, into the batten, and one anchoring screw here. Here we have three ridge tiles. Now the ridge tiles, they can be screwed directly onto a batten through the top, or as explained and shown, through the sides onto the tile itself. These tiles are pretty flexible. So they can really cover a very narrow pitch or a very wide pitch. Fixing the ridge tiles is very simple. It's three screws per side per ridge tile. Fixing goes through the ridge tile and into the tile that the ridge tile is sitting on or through into the batten, whichever the case may be. The ridge tiles can of course also be screwed through the top if there is sufficient substrate for the screws to go through the ridge tile and into either the batten or apex. We also recommend along the hips situation, if you were to squirt expanding foam before you lay the tiles, the ridge tiles, just to fill this void, that when you put in the flexing roof putty, you'll be pushing against something firm rather than into a void. There's also an end cap that comes with the ridge tile system, and the end cap screws next to terminate the ridge like so. So we have a, a box of flexing roof putty here. It's a material we found works really well as a gap filler to fill the gap between the bottom of the ridge tile and the surface of the tile that the ridge tile sits upon. It's completely waterproof, very soft, almost like a uh, some uh, plasticine, but it goes off very, very hard like the rubber on your tyre. 